and go through. And I think I mentioned this before. I'm going to start a new thread because uh, it, it perplexity has gotten a little bit baddy when I <laughs> uh, when I uh, when I um, uh, keep keep a thread for too long, then it keeps confusing a new question with something I had asked in the past. So I'm just going to start from scratch uh, and, and just go through it. So, so all right, let me start here. Um, start and 10 minutes, uh, even with this chilling tool, it is a short amount of time, so I'll be sure to not waste any time. Uh, okay, lift to direct very slowly. And it doesn't copy mathematical expressions well, so I have to be careful to fix those. And I'm deliberately not going to um, think a lot about these questions. If there's time after having, um, if there's time after having entered all the answers, then I will come back and um, and try to see what, if anything, GPT missed. Uh, why isn't it starting out with the answer? <laughs> okay, D. Uh, and again, as a reminder, um, don't do this during the, the timed assessment time. That is without any ambiguity cheating. Uh, the only scenario where I can imagine you using a generative AI tool and it will be consistent with academic honesty is if you are uh, reviewing your previous submission. I do recommend that you look at your previous submission before you use your other attempts. And uh, if you are having difficulty figuring out which questions you got wrong, then generative AI is a tool that I can imagine being helpful in helping you study. Uh, as long as it's not, so yeah, yeah. And you know, when you do repeat your attempt, there's no guarantee that you will get the same questions that you got uh, in the previous set. So so, uh, so you can use it that way, but do not use it during the 10 minute time limit while you are still answering. Why is it not <laughs> giving me the answer? <laughs> okay. okay, A, all right. Uh, based on the sign, that might actually be right. There should be some uh, accessibility feature that describe the figure. Uh, yeah, diagram shows. Okay, good, good, good. Did it get slower? Skip. Seven minutes, maybe it got slower. Uh, I might not have enough time to uh, correct it after we finish answering all the questions. We'll see. Did it finish? No, it didn't finish generating yet. Uh, okay. Now it's that you see all right. Okay. All right. And I guess maybe I can save a little bit of time by copying this now. Let's correct this A. And I'll cut paste in and clear it up. Okay. A. B, C, oh, I need to copy in the G, uh, using G approximate uh, M meter per second squared. Okay, insert all these, all right. It might have gotten slower, I think. Six minutes, that's not quite enough time. I mean, it's enough time to, you know, um, uh, copy the answers over. It's not enough time for me to be able to go back through and correct all the mistakes that GPT might have made. Why is it not giving me the answer? <laughs> uh, 
close to an is yeah all right uh, I have a sense that's probably wrong but I can't tell um, without actually slowing down and thinking about the question all right Copy over the next one oops Maybe they changed the, how the uh, how it responds um, to make it harder for people to cheat. <laughs> I mean, it'd be nice if they did. Uh, I, I guess unlike a check, um, the generative AI people have more um, business case to make than um, people cheating using using their tool. Um, so, uh, so I, I don't think. Uh, uh, you know, it's a big enough of a business that they don't have to cater to um, what's going to be a really small segment of their potential customers. Um, there are other actual educational uses that they can cater for, which uh, uh, whose argument would be greater if uh, this is not a good cheating tool. Four minutes, yeah. I'm definitely not going to have enough time to actually uh, go through and correct. Because I still have... Four questions left, and uh, I think that will be enough time to just uh, copy over um, the answers. Okay, and the uh, diagram of the total. Yeah, I think that's fine enough, and I need to copy over the masses. Mass is one kilogram. Now level of fresh speed, V is equal to a meter per second. And, uh, okay. Um, and wait, did I? Yeah, yeah, it answered the D. Okay. Good. Um, all right. And we are at, yeah, three minutes. Um, so I, I will um, check the um, which ones it got right, correct, uh, after the time limit runs out. Because I, I don't think I can actually do that um, in whatever time remains after you know, GPT wastes my time. <laughs> uh, I, I might do one more of this as a speed run just to demonstrate that I am better than GPT. Because yeah, it's like um, uh, mental math, uh, oh, mental math and um, calculator. So for certain types of calculations, uh, human beings can actually, uh, with the mental math techniques, can actually calculate it faster than machines can. It, uh, uh, or calculate it faster than people using calculator can. Because there are overheads, there are kind of things that uh, make you waste the time when you're using another tool. Uh, so, and I think I just have to type these in. These are one, never gonna copy over what F average is equal to delta P divided by delta X. Uh, delta P is equal to F net times delta T. Uh, P is equal to 1 over 2 times Fx squared. Delta P is equal to F net times delta X. Uh, right, and on question 9, and we got how much time? Yeah, I mean, in uh, 40 seconds, so. Um, oh, that might actually be correct answer. Uh, I need to think it through with a more actual. My physics brain turned on to um, to evaluate it correctly, but I think it might be right. Uh, of mass 50 kilogram, moving at 30 meters per second, comes to okay, um, wait, wait, at uh, 30 meters per second, comes to stop over there. Yeah. Okay. Oops. C, D. Right. Did I already put in that answer? Yeah. Um, let me ask this question, and I think I'm going to have less than a minute left. Yeah, definitely not enough time to um, go through and correct it. Uh, B. Yeah, and in like 30 minutes, I definitely cannot. Uh, I might be able to review them. Um, 
So this is wrong. It should be zero. Um, work with this is probably right. So ChatGPT will have missed at least one. I see um, components are not the same. So missed at least two. Um, uh, let me make sure I save the work. Uh, or already saved? Yeah, already saved. Okay. Uh, it, I think it sounds correct. Um, and uh, here, so you do have to kind of do the calculation. All right. Missed and list two. Okay. Must have missed and list one other one that I didn't have time to get to. So let's just look through it one by one. And um, I will explain why it missed certain things. So here, it missed, uh, uh, let me keep a tally of, because uh, uh, the view we have right now won't show um which questions are uh, are correct, incorrect. So I need to keep a separate tally as a kind of double checking mechanism. So tally of correct and incorrect. And they will add up to 10, hopefully. So this first one, I'm saying it's incorrect for this simple reason. Uh, the question is asking for network. And that means work done by weightlifter plus the work done by gravity. And the important part is that the weight is being lifted very slowly, uh, meaning it's moving at basically zero velocity. So, um, so, so you know, all of this net force is actually zero because um, it's not accelerating. So for that reason, the correct answer should have been this. The net work done by the, on the weight is zero joules. Um, and you can also tie this to work kinetic energy theorem, which says the net work done is equal to the change of kinetic energy. And here, the potential energy is changing, yes. The weightlifter is doing, net, doing work on the weight, but um, that work done goes into potential energy, not kinetic energy. So this is correct. Um, based on process of elimination, you know, um, the shopper is pushing. We are looking for work done by friction force. We know it's going to be the opposite to the displacement. So friction force should be doing negative work. And um, this is the only negative answer. So got to be the only correct choice. If there had been mo more than uh, two or more negative choices, I would have made the uh, assumption based on constant speed that friction force must be equal to the force that the shopper pushes with, 11 Newton, and do 11 times 14.8 to get uh, that numerical value. Okay, three. Consider three still. Uh, so uh, let me mark that as one correct. Um, Consider three still balls of so uh, this is a scenario I think you've seen earlier when we did the kinematics I think um, and now we can get to revisit this scenario with the conservation of energy in mind uh, which will say that the, if they all start from rest when they reach the same final position their speeds will be the same but because of the different slopes their final velocity will be different it will be at different directions. So if a uh, stubble to let the ball, it'll reach be more quickly. No, uh, you know, it's gravitational force and M's kind of cancel out. If all three balls are released from point A at the same time, that you, uh, they don't reach point B at the same time because conservation of energy only tells you what their speeds will be here, not how long it takes. That's the um, portion of the, the scenario we went through in kinematics. Uh, the, the, the track one reaches there faster because the ball through the track one uh, maintains the higher velocity for longer. And the vertical components are not the same because their directions will be different. They have the same mechanical energy at point A. But wait, what? Um, is there no... Um, Oh, no, there's one more choice. Okay. <laughs> Each of the three balls rolling uh, have the same speed at point B. Yeah, that is the correct choice. So uh, the choice that GPT picked was incorrect. Um, so let me say incorrect. And the correct choice is the last one, one that says the same speed. Okay. <laughs> I thought, yeah, yeah. All right. Question four. So uh, most of the rest, uh, it should have gotten right. So uh, consider energy. Uh, right, so 
across all forms, energy is always conserved. So, you know, whenever I say energy is not conserved, what I really mean is mechanical energy is not conserved in this particular context. And mechanical energy might transform into other forms of energy, like thermal energy. Um, so mechanical energy is not always conserved. So the first is the correct choice. Um, so here, um, uh, also this must be the third one that, that I missed. So it would have gotten the rest right. I will tell you this is a trick question. Um, and the way trick is set up is this way. Um, a lot of times people will try to, and let me see if uh, GPT did it that way. Um, so, uh, it's I think the next question, yeah, this one. Uh, cart starts at this height. And then I give these heights of the valleys for a reason. Because once you realize that there's a hill that's a higher height than where the cart is starting, even based on text description, you should be able to figure out that car never goes beyond this point. It never reaches here. So let's see how GPT works it at maximum speed and uh, blah, blah, blah initial height yeah so it's using the entire height and you can't do that that's uh, gonna be wrong um, you have to use the height because you are gonna reach maximum speed at this lowest point of 0 0.25 meters so um, so you have to use the height difference of 0 0.5 meters not the old difference all the way down to zero so let me work out that answer I will use uh, chat GPT's uh, you know, uh, equation, because it's probably right. <laughs> so I'll say, okay, square root of 2 times g, which you are using 10 for, times not 0 0.75, but 0 0.5. Um, so that should have been the, um, how you calculate the final answer of uh, 3.16 or 3.2 meter per second. Uh, so, so that's how it should have been done. It's, uh, uh, and it's a trick question. It's a kind of difficult to trick question in the in the time pressure of one minute per question. I'm not sure how many people will have uh, slowed it down to realize that this doesn't seem to be starting at high enough height to be able to go overcome this particular hill. Um, so, uh, so that would be your excuse. I don't know what GPT's excuse would be. So that must be the last question it missed. So the rest it should have gotten correctly. Let's see. Um, so when a cannon fires a cannonball, backward kick, so you are given the mass of the cannonball and the speed of the cannonball uh, and yeah, it recalls that. Yeah, so you're going to use conservation of ma momentum and um, it yeah, sets up that equation and I guess it must be correct. <laughs> um, I guess it's getting better at doing math. <laughs> Just uh, stay on below the chair. Momentum with the kinetic energy, uh, they are different, and yeah, this would be one way in which they are different. Energy is scalar, momentum is a vector. By the way, a question like this, um, the, the, many of these are uh, dynamically generated. So don't try to like memorize pairs of question and answer. Like if you memorize this question, this answer, uh, there's a good chance that uh, that this one actually be the correct answer. Uh, in a dynamically generated version, a uh, completely different choice might be the correct answer. And you know this choice you won't even see it because that's how it dynamically generates. Or it might be asking for uh, where it incorrectly compares this. Uh, it depends on the question. Okay, consider situation below, two identical masses, one is at rest, so the final speed should be half of the initial speed. That's kind of a scenario I hope you've seen enough in lecture to have intuition for. So yeah, speed of masses is that, that's correct. And use conservation of momentum for that also. And uh, I think I commented on this one. Uh, so the main thing is the, there's a definition of force, or how do I put it? Um, two different things. So you could, um, so when you are looking at work, which can be associated with a change in energy, that's going to be uh, given by force, that product with a displacement. And when you look at impulse, which can be associated with a change in momentum, that's uh, still related to force, but it's related to force times 
change in time, change in duration. And we actually use this to redefine force. So we started, you know, this covered in lecture. Uh, we started out by saying that force is mass times acceleration. And in uh, difficult situations, this actually turns out to be incorrect. Uh, like a rocket equation. Uh, you can say mass times acceleration because your mass is uh, a variable. In those scenarios, this doesn't work. What you instead need to say is that force is given by rate of change of momentum. That's the definition of force that will always be true. There's that um, intimate relationship between force and momentum, and it's through this change of time, duration. Um, if So I think this, the set of choices here is trying to confuse you with the delta x, and those relate to work done, not momentum. So change in momentum is net force times duration of time. That is um, the correct relationship. Okay, let me look at the last one. Two situations, one person moving at that speed, uh, uh, same person moving at same speed over short, um, then, yeah, so so your change in momentum will be the same, so your impulse will be the same, but what will be different is duration of time. So looking at this equation again, um, what you need to end up saying, so change in momentum is the same, but that relates to force by this relationship, and uh, you need to be able to say if the time changes, then amount of applied force will be different. So the impulse is not greater, that's the same, but the force needed to stop in a short amount of time is greater. Yeah, that's correct. So yeah, those are the 10 questions, um, all correct, or not, not all correct. Um, <laughs> three of them incorrect, that I, as I pointed out, and seven of them correct. Um, and I, I guess that's a kind of similar to the level of performance of uh, ChatGPT last semester, or, or would have been if I did it last semester. Um, so